So our air quality has improved. Things are looking pretty good, and we should see, see a good to maybe low moderate, but really good air quality throughout most of those reporting stations for the next couple of days. Um, we have that north wind coming in. Between 11 and 1, those are the best chances of scattered showers. We're going to be into the mid-60s for uh, noon, 1 o'clock. Um, slowly warming into the low 70s, uh, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. 73 will be our high today. 72, excuse me. It's right there. Um, uh, 73 will be tomorrow. Overnight lows, uh, we're going to start seeing things cool off as sunsets and overnight low down to 49 for the overnight low uh, waking up to that tomorrow morning. The radar, yeah, we show this to show you there's a system to the west, system to the east. We're in between that, we're right on that, that fringe. So as that low pushes up counterclockwise and tries to exit, it could throw more scattered showers our way. Uh, we look at the future radar, and yeah, it says 11, 12, 1 o'clock, uh, pretty good chance of that. Then we see things really taper off. Isolated showers in early Wednesday morning, then that leaves, and that sets us up for some uh, mild temperatures and some more sunshine with winds out of the north northwest. 72 will be our high today, 75 at a Bonners Ferry, 80 into Moses Lake. Um, look at Lewiston, 76 degrees, 77 Tri-Cities. Everyone dries out tomorrow, looks great. 73 for Wednesday, Thursday, 75. Mostly sunny Friday, 73. Um, the Southeast Spokane County Fair is this weekend, and that is at Rockford. I call it Rockford Days. They say that's not the name, and I go, I know. Um, uh, near 70, Saturday and Sunday should be dry with variable clouds. On Monday, 69 degrees, holding on to around 70 degrees as we get into what will be the first week of fall as the autumnal equinox occurs at 544 a.m. I'm Mark Peterson, 4 News Now in the First Alert Weather Center. The First Alert Weather app is free and available in the App Store.